I have met my goal weight during my weight loss process. Let's see where I'm at now and let's talk about some of the realistic things that happened along the way. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amanda. I recently started sharing my health and fitness weight loss journey with you here on my YouTube. In today's video, we're going to dive into some things that I feel like are really important to talk about. I have reached my goal weight. I am in maintenance mode, if you want to call it that. And I feel like I've got several things that we need to discuss. Let's dive in. The biggest change that I made in my health journey during my weight loss process was adding the Trainwell, formerly known as Copilot app to my routine. If you've been around for a while, you know that I have been using this app for several months at this point. And yes, I am a Trainwell partner. They did partner with me on this video, but even if I wasn't sponsored by them, this is an app that I would use in my everyday life regardless. I saw the biggest change in my body, my mindset, my confidence, my focus when I started using this app. And again, I've been working out for many, many years and not seeing the results that I wanted. So it was very demotivating. When I added this app to my routine, it made the biggest difference because they were able to customize the workout specifically for my needs, my goals, but also workouts that gave me more confidence and gave me more motivation to continue doing it on a regular basis. So as you guys know, yes, I do use the Tradewell app. I use it three days a week. I also do bootcamp style cardio in addition to that. Can you do that through the app? Absolutely. This is just the journey that I'm doing. This is just the way that I'm doing my particular workouts. And I did also recently join a martial arts. So I've got a lot going on, but I honestly can say that the Trainwell app is why I've gotten this whole new mindset when it comes to my health, my fitness, my workouts, my needs, my body goals, and just kind of everything, to be honest. I know that sounds a little bit dramatic, but it has done so much more for me than I can honestly even explain to you in this video. If you are struggling to get in the gym and just get started, or you're like me and you've been working out for years and you aren't seeing the results that you want, you've got to make a change. I know for me, I realized that I needed to make a change. Yes, I felt like I was doing all the right things, but obviously I wasn't because I wasn't seeing the results that I wanted. And for me, this app really was that that big jump, that big change for me. And even though a lot of it is the workout, the majority of it is your mindset. Yes, I still have my two week free trial. I'm gonna put all of the details down below and I'm also gonna put my link on the screen. I believe it is trytrainwell.net slash luxmommy. If you go to that link or you click the link in the info box, you will get two free weeks. You'll get set up with your own personal trainer virtually. They will customize workouts for you and you'll be able to try out the app for two weeks, no obligation. Give it a try. No matter where you're at in your journey, I personally recommend giving it a try. I talk about this app on a regular basis. Yes, here on my channel, on Instagram, but I also talk about it quite a bit in my everyday life because it is one of those things that has made such a drastic difference for me and this journey. I feel so much stronger. I feel like my body is starting to get more chiseled, but probably the most important is the confidence and the focus that I now have that I honestly have never had when it's come to my workout journey. So whether you're looking to get stronger, whether you're looking to lose weight, check out this app. Like I said, everything will be linked down below. I it just, I cannot say enough good things about it and I cannot fully encompass how much this app has changed for me. I just love it so much. It's so important to me and I feel like I talk about it quite often because it's something that I truly believe in. I also wanna give a few little tips in regards to the Trainwell app to make sure that you are utilizing all of the features and the benefits that it offers. Cause I'll be honest, I didn't know about everything or right off the bat, I kind of learned a little bit more the more that I've used it. One, they do have a Facebook group. I do recommend joining that. I've learned so much in regards to utilizing the app and other ways to use it. Join the group as soon as you join Trainwell, highly recommend it. I also recommend once you get set up with your trainer and once they customize your workouts to ask for extras. There is an extras tab on the app and I have a few different extras in my app. Let me go ahead and grab it so I can explain. So I have a couple of yoga extras. They're like nine, 10, 12 minute exercise, like yoga exercises. So let's say I have a day where I just feel like I need to get a little zen. I could just, you know, do my yoga exercise and that can be a little something extra or it can replace a workout for the day if I needed a little bit of a break. 
I also had my trainer add a couple of body stretch exercises. So I believe I have two stretch. Yes, I have a body weight total body stretch one, and then I have a roller body stretch two. One is 12 minutes, one is 15 minutes. So I can do these after or before a workout if I feel like my body is really tight, or I can just do it on extra days when I just feel like, again, my body's really tight from the workout the day before. And then I also had my trainer add an isolated glute workout. So if I ever feel like I want to work out my glutes a little extra for the day, he ended up adding a 22 minute glute focused workout. So I can do that again, in addition to a workout or on one of my off days, or I can do it instead of my workout if I wanna take again, a little bit of a break. So make sure you're utilizing all of these extra benefits in regards to the app. And again, make sure to join the Facebook group to learn more. But like I said, everything's gonna be linked down below. Get started with your two free weeks and let me know how it goes. Let's talk a little bit about mindset. I feel like there has to be a mind shift change when it comes to any health and fitness journey that you or I are on. You really have to ask yourself, what are your goals? And if you are looking to lose weight, your goals need to be both what you eat as well as how you exercise. Can you lose weight by just changing your diet? Yes. Can you lose weight by just exercising? Maybe. The truth of the matter is you really do need both to be able to lose weight, but also make sure you maintain muscle mass, which I don't know about you, but that's pretty important to me. That's part of the reason why I started using the Trainwall app is because I recognized that I was doing a lot of cardio based workouts and I really wanted to incorporate weight training into my routine and I'm telling you it makes a huge difference because I feel so much stronger. That's not what this portion is about though. I really want to talk about mind shift and things that you can do to adjust your mind shift so you can make sure to meet your goals. First I want you to set diet as well as fitness goals. So your fitness goals can go through the Trainable app. We don't really need to cover that. We've already covered that in the previous topic that I talked about. So let's go ahead and talk about setting up your diet goals. Here's the thing about diet goals. I feel like a lot of times when people go into diet goals, they put things in categories of good or bad. And I don't know what it is about this bad category, but all of a sudden it feels very, very enticing. The second you set things as good and bad, it instantly is going to set you up for failure. I personally don't believe you should categorize any food as bad. Of course, unless we're talking about chemicals and what's bad for your body, we're not talking about that. I'm talking about foods being good or bad for you to eat, not in the health sense of it. I'm talking the diet sense. So let's make sure that we're staying on topic. Obviously, it is always better to eat non-processed food, but what I'm referring to is categories of food. So whether that's eating a grilled chicken breast or having a dessert, having some steamed vegetables, or maybe a donut, you can still lose weight and consume all of these items. This has a lot to do with your mindset. If you don't categorize a donut as bad, you allow yourself to have it from time to time. Now, I'm not saying that you can have a donut every single day, but maybe you treat yourself once a week if a donut is your weakness. But the second you categorize a donut as bad, you're gonna want it even more and more, which makes it even more difficult to subside your cravings when you have them. Now, for me personally, I've done a lot of different things to satisfy my sweet tooth. I've talked about all my little tips and tricks when it comes to that in several of my other videos. I definitely recommend you go watch some of those other videos if you want a little bit more meat and potatoes from this topic. But I definitely feel like changing your mindset to food is so important. It really is all about portion control as well as not depriving yourself from something that you're craving from time to time or swapping out this for that. I've talked about this method in many of my other videos, but I really think that it can create a toxic mindset when you start categorizing all foods into either good or bad category. Cause like I said, that bad category starts to look really, really yummy when a craving hits. I want you to take that thought process and put it on everything. I mean, there is no good or bad body size. There is no good or bad body type. All bodies are beautiful. There is no good or bad workout. There is no good or bad fitness journey. All of the fitness journeys are good. You just have to find the one that works for you. And the reason why I wanna talk about mindset is I could sit here and talk about it in regards to so many different categories on a health journey. But I do feel like a lot of times 
talking about weight loss can be a little triggering to us. I've had so many people reach out and say that they're struggling with me sharing my health journey because they never thought I was this or that in the first place. And let me just set the record straight, either did I, but I definitely was bloated. I definitely was inflamed and I definitely had some weight to lose. Did I feel any less beautiful? Absolutely not. I don't want anybody to assume that just because I lost weight, I was saying that that body type was bad or the way that I looked was bad. No, but I also know that I didn't feel confident. I didn't feel strong and I definitely was swollen and inflamed and bloated. And those aren't things that I wanted to feel. I wanted to feel strong. I wanted to feel more like myself. And I know some of you haven't been around as long, but the truth of the matter is this is the size that I always been. So I basically just got back to where I've always been. It's because of COVID that I gained weight to begin with. I think a lot of us gained weight over COVID, but I, I know that in general, this is a very touchy subject, especially for somebody like me that wasn't necessarily overweight in some people's eyes. I look back at my photos, I look back at some of those videos, and I definitely see it now. At the time, I did not see it. At the time, I felt amazing. I felt good in so many ways. When I look back on it now, I definitely see the inflammation. I definitely see the weight that I could have lost. But at the time, like I said, I didn't see it then. For me, I just started to notice that I was feeling a little bit uncomfortable in my own body. And those were things that were just slowly starting to creep up on me. If if anybody had told me that I was big, which people did, let's be honest, I'm on social media, people are going to pick apart everything about me. So I want to make sure that this is clear. I didn't lose weight because of anybody else but myself. I wanted to work on myself and get healthier and get stronger and get more confident and get more focused on myself now before I got to an age where it would be even more difficult. The older you get, the more difficult it is. Everybody's challenge is a little bit different. So please, if somebody is on a health journey, whether it's me or it's somebody that you know in your real life, you should always support them during their journey. Whether they want to lose five pounds or 50 pounds or 150 pounds, it is a very difficult process to go through. And I feel like a lot of times because it does trigger so many people, we don't end up getting that much support or we get a lot of passive aggressive support. A lot of times compliments definitely don't come across as compliments on this side of the compliment. But I just want to say that we all need to change our mindset when it comes to weight loss. Somebody's weight loss journey doesn't mean that they're saying you should lose weight. Somebody's weight loss journey doesn't mean that they're saying that you look a certain way. Somebody's journey is literally their own journey and you need to change your mindset so that you can find the journey that you are looking for. You're here for a reason. If you're watching this video for a reason, you need to decide on what your goals are and not compare your goals to anybody else. Let's talk about what happens after you get to that goal weight. I can personally speak from experience. If you watch some of my other videos, you know that I did get to my goal weight, which means that I am currently in maintenance mode. My goal was basically to get to the size, the weight that I was when I originally started doing YouTube, which is the size that I've been my entire adult life, basically. And I will admit, once I got into maintenance mode, I felt like I could celebrate a little bit. And I noticed pretty quickly that no, you cannot because I ended up gaining a few of my pounds back. Yes, I ended up going back down and losing that weight, but it was just a reminder to me. And I want to give a reminder to you that your goals and your journey doesn't end when you meet that goal weight. Your maintenance mode portion of your journey is just as important, just as mindful, just as goal setting important as the weight loss journey itself. We cannot get too comfortable and excited and celebratory once we reach that goal weight because we will completely undo everything that we just worked so hard for. And I know that is not what you or I want to hear, but the truth of the matter is, is if you want this to be your lifestyle, you have to make lifestyle type of goals, lifestyle type of changes. Your weight loss, at least my weight loss, wasn't a temporary thing. It was a lifestyle thing for me. So my maintenance mode goals are just as important and just as focused as my weight loss goals themselves. 
Every time I do a q and I get a few questions that you can tell that people think that my journey is over now that I've lost the weight and I've gotten to my goal weight. But the truth of the matter is, is this is a new and fresh beginning. You have to set yourself up for success. So whether that's continuing to work out just as much as you did during the weight loss process, but also making sure that you focus on your portion control when it comes to your diet, the things that you eat on a regular basis. Now, I have a major sweet tooth, you guys. I do. And that has been something that has been very challenging for me. I was hoping that during this process, my sweet tooth would lessen because of the workouts that I was doing, the size that I was, and just that whole thing would change. But the truth of the matter is, it didn't. I still have just as strong as a sweet tooth today than I did a year ago, two years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago. It is just the way that my body is wired. So because of that, I make sure to implement things on a regular basis. I don't label anything as good or bad when it comes to food. Do I have something sweet every day? I do. Is it sometime a little bit more indulgent than it should be? Yes. Is it on a regular basis? No. I make sure to buy things that are either portion controlled or lower calorie but that still satisfy my sweet tooth. If you wanna know a few tips and tricks when it comes to what I've done for my sweet tooth, make sure to watch some of my other videos. I'll pop on some of the thumbnails here. Go watch those. I do have an entire health journey playlist. I definitely recommend you watch those. It really has been a good way to see the process of my journey and see how I've gotten where I am today. But whatever your weaknesses are, whether it's sugar, whether it's salt, whether it's who knows what it is, is, you've got to figure out what works for you. You've got to change your mindset and you've got to not deprive yourself from that. Like I said, I have a major sweet tooth. I can deprive myself and I can not live a good life. Like, let's be honest, like a life without dessert is not a life I want to live. So I'm going to have dessert. I'm just not going to eat the whole thing or I'm going to make sure to get a lower calorie version. I'm not going to eat the nasty stuff. Don't get me wrong. That's not going to curb my appetite. I'm going to end up eating that and still wanting the thing that I want. So I'm not saying to go for the things that are healthy, gross. I'm saying go for the things that are either healthy good or get the thing you want. Just don't eat as much of it. It really is a mind shift. Like I said, no longer think of things as good and bad. Portions, 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 and fill up with protein. But anyways, make sure to watch some of my other videos and join me on this journey because it is not a journey that I'm done with. I am still on this journey today. I am still on this journey now. And I would love for you guys to join me on this journey because it is not an easy one. And and a lot of times I do feel all alone. And that leads me into the next and final topic that I want to talk about. And this one is going to be a little bit difficult, but this is something that I've learned along the way. I continue to deal with it today, but I want you to be okay with getting on your journey and being on your journey all by yourself. Now, I'm not saying that it's not amazing and if you have a support system and you have somebody that wants to join you on your journey, not to bring them along with you, absolutely. What I am saying is, is you need to be okay with doing it by yourself if you have to. Because the truth of the matter is, is this is a very touchy subject for a lot of people. I live my life on social media, at least a portion of it. And even my process has been a big eye opener for how people get very easily triggered by weight loss, by health journeys, and by just in general, you bettering yourself. I don't want to go in a lot of detail about this because I want to keep this video positive, but I just want to say to you, if you want to get on a health and fitness journey, or if you are on a health and fitness journey right now, and you feel alone, and you feel you are not getting the support that you deserve, that is okay. Like I said, we can be on this journey together. I can be your support system. We can be the support system of each other. Not everybody is going to understand why you want to lose weight or get healthier or eat healthier or whatever it is. Not everybody is going to understand that. And sometimes that might trigger something within them. Just know it's not about you. It's about their own journey. And they have to find their journey on their own, but it doesn't mean that you should not do yours because of the way others are making you feel. I want to say to you that you've got this. 
You can do it on your own if you need to, and you've got my support, and I am so proud of you that you are doing this, that you are starting this, and you are doing amazing. So keep doing what you're doing and just learn to get that confidence from within because you're not always gonna have a support system during a journey like this. These journeys do trigger people, unfortunately, but keep positive and just focus on yourself. So there you have it. Just a few things that I wanted to talk about and where I am currently at on my health and fitness weight loss journey. I feel like I have come a long way. I feel amazing. I feel confident. I feel strong. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I really wanted to talk a little bit more personal in this video, but like I said, if you've missed the other videos in this series. I'm going to link the playlist down below for you guys. So definitely go watch those because I really feel like every video has something from it that can help you along this journey. Thank you so much to Trainwell for partnering with me on this video. Make sure to check out the links down below again to get started on your free two-week trial and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.